Hello everyone, welcome to Pokemon TCG Center. Today I have a new deck review and gameplay. Uh, also testing, that's my Donphan Havlucha deck. So, when the first time the Robo Substitute hit the format, it was like uh, three or four months ago, uh, Donphan price increased for like 30 times, from 40 cent up to 12 dollars a piece which was insane. But uh, you should probably ask yourself why. Well, because Donphan is a fighting type Pokemon with spinning turn attack, which allows him to hit uh, opponent's active Pokemon for 40 and switch Donphan to one of your benched Pokemon. Of course, if you switch to Robo Substitute and your opponent doesn't have Lysander or Catcher, uh, he's not able to take a prize when uh, knocking out this robot substitute. Basically with strong energy you can increase your damage on Dolphin for 20 plus. With Muscle Band 20 more plus, with uh, Fighting Stadium total 100 damage per turn. So that's insane. Even 110 if you have Silver Bangle and your opponent's Pokemon is a EX. Basically Dolphin is pretty strong card still but it's not that much playable as it was three or four months ago when the Robo Substitute first was introduced. For support, of course, you should play Havlucha because it's do almost the same thing as a Donphan, but just not retreat to bench. With one energy, it will hit your opponent's EX Pokémon for 60. If you have strong energy in Muscle Band, that's a hundred damage. With the stadium 112 damage to active EX Pokemon, which is insane. With only one energy, free retreat, I mean, amazing. Of course, you should play one shame in EX just for setup. If you start bad and don't have supporter, you can also use Ultra Ball and search your deck for shame and set up for six. Well, you, you could maybe play a Jirachi to maybe use Sycamore or N for sure, but. I decided to play Shamings because it's just overpowered card to play. So basically Havlucha should be the main attacker in uh, early game because it has free retreat, it has flying press and it can hit for tons of damage and of course with Donphan you will hit in late game for spin turn or maybe even wreck to finish the game. So what we have in this deck, of course, one Shaman X for setup, four Havluchos as a main attacker in early game, four Famphys, and three Donphans for the late game. From two trainers, we have two Acrobikes, two Bicycle, because we can burn our hand pretty fast, so we need to draw a fresh hand constantly. From trainer's card, also I have a computer search for a spec, two Rebel Substitutes, one Secret Dash, one startling megaphone, one switch, just in case you're stuck in front with Shaman and you cannot retreat, there's a switch. Four Ultra Balls, three vs. Seeker, two Corinas, two Lysanders, three Ends for draw, four Sycamore for draw, one Zero Seek, of course, just in case you need to discard any special energy or tool in play. Three fighting stadiums, of course, two focus sash in combination with Haulucha or maybe even with a Donphan. Pretty strong card in this deck. Two muscle bands, of course, four opponent CX Pokemons, two more head ringers to increase energy cost attack for one more. Of course, four strong energies, four double colorless energies, and two fighting energies. So that's pretty interesting deck to play. It looks pretty strong on the Paper, but let's see how it actually perform in the real game. So let's do some testing and see how strong this deck will be in the play. Okay, just give me a second so I can search my deck. I have tons of deck as you can see. Um, we're looking for a Donphan. Where are you, Donphan? Donphan Havlucha deck. So there it is. So let's try to find a opponent. So let's do the testing. Spinal Spiders, okay. So my opponent will probably go first. Yes, so... 
Um, what the heck he played? There's a team flare ground. Looks like maybe Jason Kluzinski copy of the dead says method. Oh, there's a how low chain of front. And one more how low chain. Fifth. Yes, looks like the trubbish. Looks like it's a Jason Kluzinski copy of the US National 2050 deck. So I know this deck in the card. Okay, the first hypnotoxic laser and a, he hits a tails. I have Karina, so I can go for Ultra Ball. Oh, there's a Seismitoad. I can go for Ultra Ball and maybe Bicycle, so I can discard with... Oh, there's a N. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't even matter. It's my turn. There's a Robo Substitute. There's a Fanfi. There's a... Focus Sage, but I really don't need Focus Sage because I just take some damage. Give me Ultra Ball. Uh, Dolphin or Havlucha. I think I should probably keep Havlucha for sure. It can, uh, it, it, it can do more damage counters than a Dolphin for sure. Well, let's just attach this to one Fanfi. So there's a N. Um, another Acrobike. Yeah, let's just grab a Fighting Stadium. For now, I can pass the turn. Oh, I forget. I should play Ultra Ball for Shaman for sure. If he, if he can retreat, I won't be able to grab the Shaman out. Oh, how do I forget that? Anyway, oh, there's a N again, and I grab Ultra Ball versus Seeker, Seeker more, Seeker Dash. Yeah, I could definitely bring back my Dolphin with Secret Dash. Oh, there's a Crushing Hammer. Oh, it's a head. Oh my god. And, and Flowstone. Oh, so Quaking Punch. I don't have to knock it out. My Robo Substitute. I should probably go with a Hellucha in front. Oh, there's a Fighting Stadium. This double color synergy doesn't mean anything to me. So there's a Fanfi and a Dolphin. So I can hit for 80 with Donphan or for 100 with Havlucha. Let's just hit for 100 with Havlucha. So the Sage Method EX isn't too, that strong against Havlucha because uh, with Fighting Stadium and Muscle Band you can hit for 100, 120 damage with one special energy. So here we see Zero Seek and probably. Quaking Punch with a laser, but if he don't have laser, it's not a big deal. He will die anyway next turn. Okay, there's only 30 damage, so I can definitely go retreat on my second Holocha and go Sycamore. There's another Dawn fan and another Fighting Stadium and another 100 damage and says to just fall down. Oh, there's a head ringer in my hand, but he should probably go quaking punch and I won't be able to use my item cards again. So, Lysander for the falling down. How much? Oh, what a bad play! What a bad play! What a bad play, if you ask me. Oh boy. <laughs> let's go Fanfi, of course. And let's just attach one energy right there. Hit for 100. So I have 18 cards left in my deck. I can definitely go for Sycamore. Oh, there's a Virbing City Gym. And there's a hypnotoxic laser, but he gets tails without 
muscle band, my Hawlodge will survive, it will take only 60 damage, and I can also retreat. Oh, there's a muscle band. Oh boy. Oh boy. So I definitely need to go for a sycamores. I really need. I really need this strong stadium or strong energy or I won't be able to knock it out. Opponent saves me to the X next turn. I will definitely go in front with a Hawlucha because he, he Hawlucha have free retreat so I can free retreat on anything or I can just oh there's a crushing hammer luckily he got tails yeah, definitely Sycamore in worst case scenario. If I don't pull a strong energy or fighting stadium, maybe I can pull a Robo Substitute, but I won't be able to play it. Oh, I forget he quick and punch me. Anyway, there's another Seismitoad. And Water Energy. He probably play only three Water Energies and four fighting energies <laughs> there's a shaming but I don't need it sycamore oh there's a fighting stadium oh there's a fighting stadium there's a 80 damage and let's just retreat to the lucha take the prize cards so the next turn I have fighting energy ready in my hand so I can hit for 140 with this fighting strong energy 160 oh there's a crushing hammer tails looks like I'm gonna win this game oh there's a hypnotoxic laser he also get tails and hypnotoxic laser so there's a N for bicycle and double chorus It looks like it's a GG. Oh, it's my turn. So I can also play item cards. I discard this shaming. Well, let's just go bicycle. And there's a computer search for the win. So we need Lysander. So we can Lysander on shaming, retreat on Donphan, and hit. Whoa! Oh boy, I can just hit for a spinning turn. I forgot I don't have energy. Oh, what a misplay. I often play mis I often do misplays, tons of misplay in my game. I just want to finish game quickly, but uh, when you want to win quickly, you will do tons of misplays and uh, this just happened to me. But anyway, if he cannot remove his shame from the active spot, it's a over next turn because with Donphan I'll be able to hit him for 60 again with Fighting Stadium 80 minus 24 resistance and that would be enough. In the first base, when the base hit was released, I think that resistance was minus 30 if I'm not wrong. I remember when the Rocket Zapdos was so strong card in the format with 70 HP with only one energy he was able to attack for 20 damage and he was able to charge him from discard pile for one more energy for four energies he was able to hit for 70 and uh, he was doing 40 damage to itself but with Goldberry he was able to re recover him from suffering the 40 damage Lost, so it was so strong in the back format when it was Team Rocket up to Neo Genesis. It was 2001 up to 2003, if I'm not wrong. That was a time. So there's a Virbing City Gym, but uh, if he don't have uh, Hypnotoxic Laser, I mean that's over for him. So he's still counting and looking what he has, what he can do. If he gets heads on Crashing Hammer and discard my strong energy, that can be a big deal for him. 
so there's a Garbator, but I can free retreat to Dolphin, I can hit for 60, oh 40, how the heck 40? Oh there's a, oh Virbing City Gym, oh my god, okay anyway. Okay, again misplay, so I gave him one more turn, but uh, anyway, what else I can do? Nothing, because I don't have fighting energy in my hand, I have double color synergy. With fighting energy, this would be probably game over uh, three turns ago. So, speaking on uh, 2001, Format when was uh, Rocket Zebus uh, strong? There was also a Steelix from Neo Genesis. He was tank with 110 uh, HP, and uh, back then there was a Metal Energies that was allow you to reduce uh, damage taken from. A Attack for 10. So you can imagine the Steelix with uh, f 3 metal energies that reduce damage for minus 30. And you can also imagine him with a gold, gold berry. So he was such a tank. And he was also resistance minus 30 on grass type Pokemon. So with 3 energies, grass type Pokemon should attack him 60 damage less. I mean, that was insane. And also, with Goldberry, you was able to recover him from damage, so pretty strong card. Pretty damn good format, uh, but it was 14 years ago, I remember, when I was playing as a kid in uh, Pokemon League. And there's a victory, so I managed to grab a win against Seismitor.ex with my Dolphin deck, so I also grabbed a tournament ticket. So that is my Dolphin Havlucha deck. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more future videos. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like. And hit the dislike button if you don't like this video. Uh, have a nice day and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.